by realization of the holy truth shall come to him all merit of purity and self restraint the 13th lunar day the mortal is like a tree on the sea shore yet a mortal can become his roots if he becomes absorbed in the string of the lord's love he then in no way dies of fear and dread nor is he ever drowned the mortal bereft of lord's fear is drowned to death and loses his honor he who enshrined lord's fear in his mind and knows his fear in his mind sits on the throne and becomes pleasing to the true lord's mind the 14th lunar day the man who deeply enters into the fourth state who overcomes time and three qualities of the optimism egoism and pessimism who lets in the sun of wisdom in the moon's house of darkness and who knows the worth of the way of union with the lord he remains absorbed in the love of the lord pervading the 14 world netherland continents and solar system the day of no moon on the night the moon remains invisible in the sky o enlightened man understand and contemplate the lord's name when the moon rises in the sky its light illumines the three worlds creating his creation that creator sees it he who sees the lord through the guru merges into him the self willed persons are gone astray and continue coming and going he who establishes his hearth and home obtains a permanent seat and looks beautiful when man attains to the true guru he comes to realize his own self wherever there is desire there is destruction and ruination and bowl of duality and selfishness burst he who remains detached amidst snares of worldly attachments nanak humbly prays i am a slave of him belaval third guru the seven day kar tenth the creator of all is one the only one he is realized by true guru's grace sunday the he alone is the primal lord he himself is the doer there is no other like a warp and woof he has woven himself in the world whatever the creator himself does that alone happens those imbued with the name are ever in peace rare is the person who by guru's guidance realizes this within my heart i tell the beads of rosary of the treasure of merits god is inaccessible unknowable and illimitable by repairing to the saints feet and becoming the slave of the lord's slave i meditate on him monday the true lord is pervading all his worth cannot be told narrating and describing the lord all keep their minds fixed on him the devotion to the name he confers on whosoever the lord blesses with it the lord is inaccessible unknowable and his greatness cannot be known by the guidance of the guru's word god is seen absorbed in all creation tuesday the lord himself has created love for worldly valuables he himself has put all men to their task he alone realizes him whom he himself guides by the guru's teaching the mortal comes to comprehend the divine portal and mansion then one lovingly performs the lord's devotional service and burns his egoism and avarice with name wednesday the lord himself blesses man with sublime thinking by guru's grace he then does good deeds and meditates on the name those died in the name their mind becomes pure he who sings the lord's praise washes off his filth of pride at the true lord's portal he ever obtains glory imbued with the name he is embellished with the guru's word he obtains the profit of the name at the guru's door lord the giver himself blesses man with it he who gives this favor unto him i am a sacrifice by the guru's grace self conceit is dispelled o nana keep thou the lord's name clasped to thy heart unto the bestower lord i hail respect respectfully thursday the celestial heroes have been deluded by doubt all the goblins and demons are attached to another the lord has himself created all and beholds them in their diversity o creator everyone is under thy shelter all the mortals and creatures are under thy protection he alone gets united to thee whom thou grantest union friday the lord is pervading all creation himself creating all the lord appraises the worth of each he who turns guru ward he contemplates he 
does deeds of truth and continence all the fasting rituals rites and daily worship without realization of the lord led man to the love of another saturday to deliberate over good omens and shastras in these and in ego and selfhood the world wanders the blind self-willed person is engrossed in the love of another and bound at the death's door bears the blows by guru's grace one obtains eternal peace he does true deeds and bears love to truth they who serve the true guru are very fortunate by stilling their ego they embrace love for the true lord with thy love o lord they are easily imbued thou o bliss giving lord unitest them with thyself everything arises from one god there